happens to the girls just to go here again, win, which means honey. I look honey anyway. Oh, you look great. I look great. <laughs> yeah. Tell me how you do. I, I'm doing very well, thank you, Oye. You look nice. Oh, thank you very much. Don't Everyone blush, is. Don't blush too much. <laughs> but uh, today, uh, I, I just have this, you know, you know one of those times that you go... Tell me. I, <laughs> <laughs> you know one of those times. Very savage today. Very savage. Where did you come from? Oh no. Anyway, you know one of those days that you just go through binge watching so many series on online. What did you watch? Oh, the best movie. What it's Little Women. And it is, you saw it. That movie is a bomb. Like it's that bomb. movie is too great. Like it. It just. I know. It's like if I could ever pattern my way of life with a film, it will be that film. I was like, I was so, after I, <laughs> so after I watched this film and I watched it in depth, I just realized these are issues that uh, women are going through all around the world. Even mm. though that film is centered uh, on American um, or British um, medieval black, time. Yeah. Exactly. And African American. I mean, exactly. Still. So this is a problem that is very uh, disturbing when I look at it. So today, I, after watching it, I'm like, okay, we need to talk about this. Uh, this hey. is a very pressing issue. We need to talk about it. So I'm going to center it around the subjugation of women and the marginalization of women mm. by society. Mm. The, it's, oh, it's a very pressing issue that we should talk about. And in this film, Little Women, they show all of the things that society is being directed. Mm. If you look at the main character, Jo, she doesn't want to get married. But the society that she lives in presses and pressurizes like, almost her. Almost all her friends were married, kids, exactly. babies. The other one was even pregnant. Exactly. And they want her to get married. There is even this woman, and I love the way they portray this, because there's this woman in the film, she's old, but she's like, she's not married. And Jo is aspiring to be that, that woman, woman, because that woman made it in life, became rich, made it in life, and she's not married. Yeah. So I believe we should not uh, be listening to what society says, because society, society tries to dictate everything, and we are not like robots that you should dictate what we should do and what not to do. We are uh, human beings like men. So we should be allowed to live our own lives. So when I watched this film, Oye, it touched my heart. Like, I needed to talk about this. Especially, let's bring it down to, proximity is very important. So mm. let's bring it down to the Gambia. Okay. In the Gambia and in Africa as a whole, marginalization of women has been normalized. Mm -hmm. they, uh, right now, if you are to get married, yeah. probably your parents already have a person that they want you to get married to. to. Yeah. They don't care about your feelings. They don't care about your thoughts. All they want you to do is get married to who they, you, they uh, dictate you to. And it's a very pressing issue. And it comes down to um, another issue, which is uh, the level of success that a woman should attain. And this, oh, this like, it irks me to my soul when I, why should you dictate how successful I should be? Why should you dictate it? I can be as successful as any other male out there. So you should not dictate how successful I should be, especially comparing me to my husband. If my husband wants to be uh, as successful as I am, let him go and be successful. Let him not limit my, limit my um, potential. Shelf, yeah. yeah, so I believe this is an issue that we should talk about. And when I watched um, Little so Women, men. it really uh, brought up this conversation inside me. And there is this one line that uh, was said in the film that everyone is living by now. And I believe it's a... It's a um, it's a saying that people should be living about. This girl said, I want to be great, but nothing. Hmm. So women out there should listen to that. Society is trying to make you nothing. So be great or nothing. So if you can't be great, leave it out. You have to leave it out. That is what I believe in. So when I heard that, I'm like, everyone should take this as their way of life for them to dictate it. So and I want to talk about where you like society detects who you should marry and who you should not. Yeah. The it's actually a very pressing topic in the country. Yeah. Almost in every every country because that's where you see any girl that passes. You see all these young um, old women be like, "Why haven't you married? Your mates are getting married. This this that and that." And then even your they don't they don't even go an extra mile to go to your parents and start talking, even if your parents don't have that 
that uh, mind that mindset about them yeah. picking someone for you mm -hmm. it will change because africa has this problem about following what people say and following what people do do you, you know Thank it's you. actually yeah yeah so it's, it's a huge because problem. what a is doing b should also do it mm -hmm. or it, it i can actually link it to because um like for example in schools like most of the children now they'll be like your parents will be like because um my friend's son is a medicine is yeah. doing medicine and wants to be a doctor so you two should do medicine and be a doctor but they don't really care or, or want to know if that is actually the line you want that's actually the line you want to take or if you're strong in that exactly you yeah. so i think women women in the society women in general should actually not not let what society say determine who they will be or what they will be in life because if 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 the, the society will always be there go back and come back yeah they'll mm -hmm. always talk they'll always say so you should just rise above everything and work on your self-esteem exactly. yeah working on on your self-esteem is one of the like one of the main main key like exactly one of the main character you should really work on and just believe in yourself believe and, and do not you listen to society you can't you can't be anything in life if you don't believe in yourself, yourself yeah. that's just the main truth yeah it starts from you it's if you want people to believe in yourself look in the mirror and be like i'm beautiful exactly i can do it if just because a feels or just because my sister feels doesn't mean that I, i'll feel you know yeah. yes you understand yeah. or just because okay many people are not doing this i'll do it or even if many people are doing it i want mine to be different though i am doing the same thing but mine will be different do you understand yeah. so let let women just like believe in yourself so. and you know yeah well there you have it guys uh believe in yourself as oin as uh, have said here so we would like to further this uh, conversation in our social media platforms the question that we have today is should you let society dictate who you are or what you, you become, become yeah. and till next time this is girls just bye peace love bye bye